We've got five of them, which means they're seven minutes apiece. All right. Um, station number one is up here at the front. Station two over there at the mid is station three is that little open area with the Bosu ball. Station four is over here. And then station five will be done in Zibak. Um, station number one, active rest is going to be a wall sit. So we're going to get down there in that 90 degrees and our back and shoulders up against the wall. Okay. Um, after you get off the wall, okay, or while you're on the wall, your partner's got two movements before you switch. You got dips and band pulls. So for the dips, we're gonna just slide our booty off the edge of the box, okay, going down to a 90 degree bend of the elbows, then locking it out up at the top, okay? Uh huh. Oh, and then uh, for the band pulls, okay, uh, pulls or push downs? Pull. Push down. Pull. Who made the station? Pull. Me, pull. Back pull? Yeah. So back far away from your anchor point. Okay, keep your elbows high, and we're pulling it right across the chest, okay, for a total of 15. Every time you finish with your band pulls, you go back to the wall set, but every time you get off the wall set, guys, your dips are going to increase by 10, okay? If you get through 10, 20, 30, go back down to 10 and start again, but the band pulls are going to stay at 15. Station number two, bench tops, is the active rest, okay? So you're going to go up and over the bench, okay? If you need to, uh, you can go one foot, <laughs> one foot at a time um, if you're worried about busting your rear, okay? Uh, while your partner's got bent tops, you've got, again, two movements. We've got body rows and body skull crushers. So the body rows and skull crushers, okay? We are going to be um, inside of the rack for the body rows, okay? So we're going to be having our hands on the bar and rolling ourselves up to it. For both of these movements, the higher the bar, the easier it's going to be for the group, okay? And then for the body skull crushers, uh, we are stepping outside of the rack, and then we're going to roll our head underneath the rack and then we are locking it out at the top. Biggest thing here guys, you gotta keep your head under the bar and you gotta keep your elbows pinched in. Okay, if your elbows flare out, it's gonna be really awkward for everybody. Okay, so make sure your elbows stay in nice and tight. Okay, 10 of both of those and you just keep switching back and forth for seven minutes. Station number three, Spider-Man plank is the active rest. So we're gonna be down in a plank position, uh, forearm plank probably, or palm plank, it's up to you. And we are taking the knees up to the elbows, okay, or up to the triceps. Um, make sure we're going out and around. Again, palm or forearm plank works there. Um, while you got two movements before you switch, you got both two crunch, make sure that lower part of the back is on the center so you can get a good stretch of the stomach, okay? If your upper or center part is on the center part of the Bosu ball, you're not gonna get any range of motion there, okay? Yeah, just do that, okay? So make sure you get your good stretch. Um, and then you've got both two up and overs. Those are gonna increase by 20 every time. Okay, so you can go a little bit more quick or you can go down and really work your squat. But after you do 10 to 20, switch with your partner. Station number four, active rest is gonna be on the bike. Your partner is going to ball crawl down to the red cones, okay? You can either go right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, or you can do the right hand all the way down and the left hand all the way back, it's up to you. But once you get to the red cones, you have 10 push-ups. Make sure that chest goes all the way down to the floor. You can go down to your knees if you need to make it a little bit easier. And then after you do 10 push-ups, you will push it back. And then station number five, we've got rope work and wall or, is that and or? Ah, uh, okay, so the first time your partner does the hill, they will do rope work, okay? So you could do doubles, you can do singles, Okay, you can do rope jacks, you can do, anybody gonna show what that looks like? Hey, you can do singles, you can do doubles, okay? You can do rope jacks, okay? You can do literally whatever you wanna do out there on the rope. Challenge some of you to maybe jump rope. That'd be fun, out there with the big ropes, okay? Then when your partner gets back from the hill, they'll do rope work, okay? Then your next time, you got wall balls. Squat down, throw it up, then catch it back down and squat. Okay, keep on switching between rope work and wall balls for seven minutes. Anybody have any questions?